Hey, what's up guys? Back again, actually headed over to Nick's right now. I'm gonna go check out the new look GTR. He's got a totally new uh, front bumper and, uh, and front lip, carbon fiber uh, front lip. So excited to check that out in person. Outside of that, we got some different mods coming to the E90. Um, a couple of them I'm still waiting, they're still on the way. Um, some others have arrived and they're kind of just some smaller mods, but you know, gonna spruce it up, add a little personality. Might try to put on one of the mods today. Let me close this so you can actually see my face. Basically, Nick surprised me a couple weeks ago um, for basically like a, a birthday present. What it is, is he purchased some really high quality um, carbon fiber wrap. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is wrap my roof. So. Um, I'm gonna do that. That's kind of on the slate today. Maybe play a little bit of pickleball later. Um, but yeah, I think it'll. I think the the wrap itself will add, you know, just some more character to the car, which is exciting. But yeah, on my way to his place, and uh, yeah, let's see what's in store today. All right, I just got to Nick's house. I was actually just in there. Uh, he just showed me the front bumper. I'm pulling my car around back right now to go ahead and start wrapping uh, the roof. But yeah, I'll go. I'll show you guys the GCR. Okay, guys, here it is. Uh, it looks insane. I was just telling how, like, how much more aggressive it makes it look, especially from like the the side. Look at that, guys. It's so clean. And he's still, he's just gonna uh, bolt on the like on the sides still. But basically, it added this entire like side vent. Obviously, the the lip itself. That's all carbon fiber. That's all new. Here we can get it. If you want a little comparison. Yeah, yeah, comparison. That's perfect. This is the, the stock. And this is how he, he had previously had uh, these vents, he had put them in him, himself, so it didn't look like this, it was actually in there, um, flush, and looked great. And then he had his own, like, uh, just like a black lip before. But you can tell from the sides, like, these ones obviously no vents on the sides. And then... The other thing here is, on this one, the fog light sits in this vent. Yeah. So this one, for more airflow, it relocates the fog light so that it doesn't obstruct the vent. Yeah, that's so sick. Yeah, just totally different placement that way. And so he took it to a guy in town, Wise Concepts. Basically, he was able to, I mean, you look, it looks like it is totally stock, but he actually, what's the word for it? Molded it. Yeah, molded it in there. So it just is totally seamless. Looks so good on both sides, obviously. Um, he'll put his plate on there, obviously. You still see the inner cooler and everything. Yeah, in the last video, he his front lip was off. Um, so now it's just that much more, you know, it looks lower. Um, but yeah, looks insane, dude. I love it. Appreciate it. All right, we're starting in. We're going to heat this up and basically we have a screwdriver under this. We're just going to kind of pry it off and we'll clean off uh, the roof. It's just some like little spot cleaner and start the process. Okay, we got it off guys. This is what's kind of left over. Yeah, a little bit of sticky residue. We're going to kind of start working to get off. Uh, first, but this is your antenna after the cap is taken off. There's the plug ins to it. They're all color coordinated, so it's good. Okay, got them off. So now we'll just kind of tuck those back in there. Because it doesn't go far. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can pull them out. Okay, so we just put some rubbing alcohol on the uh, top portion of it. Uh, just to kind of, because I didn't wash it beforehand, but it's, we washed it not too long ago. Um, so it's really uh, so pretty clean, but kind of getting off any like bugs or anything, and it really helps kind of wipe all that off. Now we're gonna go ahead and clay bar it, clay bar it. just to get it totally perfectly smooth, and then we'll hit it with the, the alcohol one more time just so that there's literally nothing left behind there because it strips everything off. Yeah, and, we'll be, and pretty much uh, get started. Go. Slippery smooth wrap all over it. <laughs> And then what are you throwing on there right now, Nick? It's a clay louver. By Chemical guys. guys. So it just helps our, our clay bar to slide really well. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna do this, pick up any debris and dirt, and then once we start to see stuff get embedded yeah. into our clay, we'll just fold it over itself so that you're not using that dirt to keep, to scratch it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so apply some, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so just spray in my face, it's all good. Apply some good pressure here and just do it till it starts to feel smooth and then we can move on to our next spot. So you can feel it, you can feel it grab and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I guess better help now. <laughs> Alright, we just clay barred it. Now we're putting the rubbing alcohol back on. Well, I kind of just did. It's super glossy now. 
which is sick. It's like the smoothest it's ever been. After this is pretty much go time. It's all prepped and ready to go for the wrap. Okay, we're taking the wrap out. There it is in the sun. It looks insane. It looks pretty good. Yeah, so that's gonna go on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna try to kind of record this as we go, but we just did one last wipe and we're throwing this on. It looks insane in the sunlight. Um, but I'm gonna put this down so I can help. <laughs> I think I'll be okay with this. Hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> Give this a back portion of pull. Yeah, it's got good. Fast, a little bit of a time clock mm -hmm. when you're just on this initial part. Yeah. Just to lose all the Starting the ski squeegeeing a little bit. Yeah, just get a nice line here. We can start from. This is um, the sunroof right here. We're just gonna cut around it, obviously. Little, so we start to get air bubbles like this. Yeah. Give a channel for the air to come out. Yeah. First time wrapping with this type of film. Yeah, it's a lot thicker, right, than what yeah, you're kind of used to. It and a, a little less sticky yeah. right off the rip to where yeah. it's like you don't want to lift it up too many times and set it back because you feel like you're not working with as much stick. So you don't want to like lose. Nice. Good recovery. <laughs> Hey guys, we're getting there. Kind of the front portion is pretty much flat. The moon, the center of it is gonna have some air in it, but we're just gonna cut around that, obviously. But it looks great in the sunlight. This is a really good angle right here, dude. And we're working on the back portion. All right, we got totally flattened out on the portions we want to. This is where the intent is gonna go back on the cover, so that won't matter. Now we're kind of on the cutting process, starting in with the sunroof. Nice we yeah, so we're probably just gonna leave it like this. You can see out, so that's close enough. That's all. Nice, that looks great. <laughs> now we can get in there with our uh, wrap tool. Do you still have the little yes. wrap stick thing? Yeah. We're almost there. Just pushing down all the sides to where then when we cut it, it's yeah. one the car. Get in there. It's really nice that you're. Uh, that your roof is black since if you do make a little mistake. Yeah, yeah. Black, I mean, it's black. Yeah. yeah, that's actually a good point. If you had figured it out by now, I am not a uh, professional rapper. Really? Because it looks like you are, man. You've had a lot of experience. I've wrapped three cars badly. So. <laughs> ready for the big cut? Let's do it. I usually just send it. Yeah, no, I'm ready for it. Let's get it through. <laughs> oh, that is a clean peel right there. Right. That's a clean peel. Get that done. So now we're going to push down those little edges so they kind of wrap underneath as much as possible. With this handy dandy tool. A little wrap stick. <laughs> it turned out pretty good. Yeah, it really did. Look at that, guys. Oh, okay, final peel away here. Oh, that's a professional wrap right there. Good <laughs> stuff, so dude. Yeah, yeah, that looks really good. That looks insane. This seam is like, I don't even know if I can really catch it super well on camera. Yeah, you can. This little part is rubber. And so he's just like, we're just cutting it all the way down. That's the end of the cut. We're gonna keep going. 
Well, he's doing that because we only have one knife at the moment. Um, I'm gonna start plugging these back in. I'll show you the plug in. It's really easy. Actually, let me go this one first. There we go. Beautiful. And last one. It just kind of drops in there. You put that underneath, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Locked and loaded. Okay, got a little update for you. You got this side done. Got the back done. That was pretty quick, actually. And then this whole side portion is now done, being tucked in. You the trim off. Yeah, I have the trim off already because it was it was starting to crack really bad a while, like a year ago, pretty much. And uh, literally just crumbling apart and just like falling on my windshield and stuff. It's just looking horrible. So I just ripped it all out. I never put it back in like a new one. I have the piece ordered and everything. I just never got around to it. Eventually we'll get there, but it worked down the long run that I didn't because it makes it way easier. Now we can do it like a really clean portion on the front. There it is. Dude, it looks insane. <laughs> Good, completed looks super good dude thanks man thanks for all the help <laughs> killed it All right, what's up guys? Got another video for you. I don't know if this is gonna be a part of like uh, the same video or a different part of it, but yeah, uh, got uh, a new mod. So that's always a good day when there's a new mod. I'll go ahead and show you guys. I'm gonna be putting this on today. Um, so these are like, they call them air scoops. Um, you can put them in your front like kidney grill. So basically, there you go right in that portion and they will show and that's kind of like part of the reason obviously uh why i got them because i'm trying to add more like blue kind of hits and accessories to the car but at the same time the actual purpose for them is to let air into the engine um and yeah they just kind of look cool so <laughs> putting those in and uh actually headed over to nick's i think i go over to nick's every time whenever I, we do anything car related at least have been lately probably wash both of our cars i think he needs a little wash i'm just gonna wash mine real quick um, and then put these in. Here's the carbon fiber, still looking really nice. No issues whatsoever, obviously, that's kind of what you hope for, so it's been really good. Uh, yeah, come along with me, guys. <laughs> So he actually already uh, washed his, so I'm just gonna pull mine up. I'm gonna pull it forward, so that way we can work on the vents a little easier later. <sighs> Let's get this puppy started here. They're longer. I I, the main ones I can clear, but I tried to do like a side straight one. Yeah. And I scraped so bad, dude. I ended up actually just backing off a bit. <laughs> I didn't wanna like snap it, dude. I know, I didn't even realize it was on there. It looks so good though. Thanks, man. The fitment's perfect, man. But yeah, it's a lot lower than your last one. And your last one is low, obviously. Yeah, um, yeah, actually, you know, it's over here. It's a little comparison. Oh, yeah. I just got a little lift. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why in the earlier video, um, for my last video, um, he didn't have the front lip on for this very reason. But thankfully, it was after he'd already, like, gotten this front lip and bumper in the mail, so it wasn't as heartbreaking. Oh man, yeah, you can tell how much thicker it is. And, oh yeah, well, and it like attaches so much higher. Yeah, it's noticeable in person how much, how much lower it is. Yeah. 
It's crazy compared to your last one. Yeah, I like it. I'm just gonna try to deviate a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. For a few months. They're filling a lot actually in town right now. No joke. A bunch of the potholes and stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, so we just got done cleaning. Looks really good. Now we're gonna try to put in those air scoops. From the videos, it looks pretty easy. So it should actually be relatively quick. You can kind of just pop them in through the front, through the kidney grill. Oh, and if you're wondering, I got these from uh, Mashimaro, um, his online store. So I'll actually link that in the video below. But um, yeah, we're gonna throw them in. I think the blue is gonna hit. Okay, so we're gonna start with popping these four begin with. Yeah, I just got my kitty girls from eBay. Oh, that's easy enough. And basically, it's, it's really simple. You just gonna take these, make sure you're doing the right side. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it turns out I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> we, we did the right one there. Uh, I don't even think we had to take that one out, but that's fine. You had to pull out this little plastic piece and the way not to break it is you got to pull out the knob and then underneath you can pinch it and then pull it out. So Nick will demonstrate. We'll go ahead and pull out that top portion. And it's still kind of a pain. You got to kind of reef on it. It's starting to go. Boom. Okay. So, so now that, that, that pin is so out. So now you can pinch it from the bottom. And you're gonna a portion here under um, underneath. This one already feels like it might be a little gank actually. And I used a flat head on the top to kind of help pry. Okay, nice. This one's already starting to get. It's almost there. There we go. And they're now intact, so we can actually use them again. We thought we were gonna have to break them, but <laughs> we were going to break them. We were pinching that really hard to just pull the whole thing out. And then that, the, the pin came out, so we're good. Uh, <laughs> my try. Okay, cool. So it just it just threads right into it. You don't need anything to hold on the bottom. It's a tight fit, which is good. So that's a little loose. We'll go ahead and do the one with the pin now. Nice to go through the bottom. Yeah, nice. pretty easy. Baby hammer. I have an actual mallet if you yeah, want. Yeah, I might need okay. a mallet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I, I had a little it. Maraca. There we go. You gotta just hit it. Okay, sick. <laughs> that looks really good. Once you understand the concept of it, it's actually not that hard. You're just a little slow on the learning portion. Yeah, so you'll just start by threading this. Screw in there, and you feel it with your finger. Nice, and then take this one here. The second one always is so much faster. Yeah. There you go, you kinda know which one's in there. Sick. Dude, it's perfect with the grill and it's like, it's not too much, exactly. but, it, but you do and see that's it. that's why I wanted, I didn't want it to be like too yeah. much glue showing off. Yeah, I think they're on there. Just a little bit. I see. If it fits, it ships. We're putting these back, even though I never really had to take them out. It might have given you a little, give us a little more room to work with, though. Here we go. Bon appetit. Over this. 
Yeah, baby. <laughs> and they're straight, they're even. That's what we love to see. When you take off your bumper or open your hood, like you're never gonna have to mess with those either. Yeah, exactly. Since they're in there, yeah, you don't ever have to. It's not like you really have to remove them for any huge reason. You definitely see them, and this is like it's pretty. It's pretty shaded over here. I love it. They're just subtle, but they add a little more blue. All right, so I think from here we're actually gonna go up and get some pictures. We're gonna kind of go to I think a couple different spots, but some good backgrounds because. Uh, the cars are clean right now, so we want to get some pics, the new mods, and uh, go from there. <laughs> All right, we just got some dope pictures. Uh, we went over by those pillars and then just kind of like middle of the parking lot. It's kind of like sunset right now. It's a little bright in some spots, but we actually found to a pretty shady spot here. So they should turn out fire. Um, dude, thanks for the help today. No problem, man. Good time. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like uh, and hit the subscribe button if you aren't already. Don't just don't just give it a like. Yeah, just smash, smash, <laughs> sub, smash that like button. Subscribe. <laughs> Turn on that notification bell. <laughs> Hit it. Hit it all. All right, guys. Uh, that is it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace. Okay, a little extra footage, guys. I'm gonna sh I just got home. I'm going to show Lexus the new mod. I'm going to wait till she notices it and can tell what it is. Is it on the front? Well, I can't give it away too much. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I kind of had like No, no, no. That was good. Um, you noticed it really fast. Here we go. Now we got the flash oh, on. Oh, yeah. That's really no, you cool. can see it while you're driving. I guess I'll see the video. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's really cool. Now it actually wasn't hard. You pop out the the oh. the little uh, kidney grill, and mm -hmm. you unscrew a couple things. It's always a little harder than you think it's gonna be, yeah. but it was pretty quick overall. That's really cool. It's... I think that's. I didn't even know you could do that, honestly. So. Yeah, you don't see it too often, but. Yeah. Yeah, it just adds a little something, and something. She looks clean. Thank you. Yeah, she is very she clean. Wash. Okay, say goodbye to everybody. All right, goodbye everybody. Thank <laughs> you.